My name's Toby and I am a racial sensitivity trainer for dogs. Your days of being a supremacist are over. As a society, we've spent the last seven years getting rid of racial biases in humans, while almost completely neglecting the racial biases of dogs. No, stop thinking of crime statistics. You know, if you take one look at the blogosphere, it's no secret that dogs are racist. Sorry about him. And it's high time that someone dealt with that problem. Sit if you're not racist. A lot of times their white owners will be watching their programs like Fox News, thinking that they're in a safe space to let out their racism, but unfortunately, they're not alone. No, racist dogs don't get treats. And that's where I come in. I've spent the last five years deprogramming dogs out of their racial biases. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Mind your business, Pepper. Hey. Look it. Now watch Robin. You know, dogs sense the racial biases of their owners. So what you want to do is every time you see a person of color, just kind of do a big smile. Let them know they're in a happy place. If a white person does walk by, you're gonna wanna give them a little bit of a growl. In an ideal world, we can kind of get them growling at white people, sort of close the growl gap. Oh. Yeah, get him. Training your dog to be an anti-racist dog starts at home. We call this exposure training. Look at this, just take a peek. You know, sometimes they don't wanna look, but Pepper, it's just, there's nothing to be afraid of here. Do not avoid this man. And after making positive connotations with those photos, I like to present negative connotations with some of these photos. Oh, look, Pepper, he's attacking your owner. Get him. I think we just made some progress there. So right here is a video of people storming the Capitol. Pepper, look it. You know, it's hard to confront your biases, Pepper. She's having trouble deciding whether she likes or dislikes this one. Sometimes I'll just sit in front of him with a mean face to get him to accustom to not liking people like me. I used to do a technique involving blackface, but I, probably not good for the documentary. I think this other dog's trying to radicalize him. You want to keep them away from the other dogs, prevent them getting any bad ideas and habits. You know, I do recommend most owners switch to speaking to their dogs in abonics. I want to make sure the dogs are accustomed to hearing that type of dialect. I'm finna give you a treat if you stop being racist. Racism's whack, no cap. It's almost my second language. Yeah, I don't know if you're ready for that area yet, brother. This dog is trying to get away from me personally, which is a good sign, wants nothing to do with me right now. In a perfect scenario, the dog attacks me. That's how I know I've really done the work. Forget what you may have heard and take a look. Do you think you're about ready to go home and binge watch the entire anthology of Judge Joe Brown? A scumbag coming through. Still fairly friendly, so gonna need some more techniques. Talking about Kyle Rittenhouse, my left hand is innocent, my right hand's guilty. Just, you want a treat? No? Just one treat, just get that in there. It's a process. 